Emperor penguins may have the same partner for a lifetime. In fact, many seabirds and some fish are monogamous. They mate for life. But monogamy is rare in the animal world. And while monogamous relationships in animals seem relatable to us, for many long-lived highly endangered seabirds, this mating strategy can be problematic. Emperor penguins typically live for about 20 years and are likely to have the same partner for a lifetime. There are several precarious stages while they're breeding. She needs to catch her falling egg on her feet when she lays it. Her egg can't touch the ice or it'll die and she lays only the one egg in any year. She needs to pass that precious egg without it touching the ice to the top of her partner's feet. Once the egg transfer happens, he'll nestle it up into a fold in his skin, which wraps around the egg to ensure it's safe and warm against his body. When she leaves, she'll go back to sea to fish. But for the next two and a half months, through bitter cold and blizzards, he waits in the darkness of the Antarctic winter for her to return. It's only then just as their chick hatches, that he can pass their newly hatched chick across to her feet. Now it's his turn to leave and go to sea to feed. He'll replenish himself, but he'll also bring back food for their chick. If she doesn't return, he'll walk slowly with the chick on his feet out to the edge of the ice to wait for her. But if she doesn't come, he'll need to leave. He'll wait to the point of near starving, and then, only then, he'll place their tiny precious chick on the ice. It won't survive. For the emperors, trust in your partner's a really big deal. So picking the right partner has lifelong implications for your reproductive success. Now albatross also mate for life and are even longer lived seabirds, typically to their mid forties. They're extremely picky when it comes to choosing a mate. In fact, they court each other through ritual dances for years before partnering. An albatross is slow to reach sexual maturity and by delaying breeding for several years, they have time to learn and practice the important courtship rituals that they use to pick the perfect partner. Once a pair is bonded and breeding commences, they'll return to each other in the same spot every year. But now the amount of courtship behavior between them slows an all too familiar aspect of human relationships as well. Just like the emperor penguins, albatross lay a single egg each year. And as they didn't start breeding until they were quite old already, over their lifetime they have a very low reproductive rate. This means they can't afford to lose too many chicks. So there's no time to be a deadbeat mum or dad. Both parents need to be fully invested in their chick's survival. This works well. As in long-lived species, there's usually little chance of adults dying young. But for seabirds, however, this has changed. And now of the 22 species of albatross, all are listed at some level of conservation concern. So now, that bond that lasts their entire life, unfortunately, if one partner dies, it affects them both. Monogamy is not common in fish, but the Australian seahorse does appear to be monogamous. These seahorses are not great swimmers and they tend to be at low densities. So it's difficult for them to find another mate. And the longer they stay together, the more successful they are at breeding. If they synchronize the timing that he is ready to receive her eggs with the time she's made more eggs, they can produce more than one clutch. If she's been with a partner for a long time, she can forage further afield and find food to allow her to produce more offspring per brood. Perhaps this is why the Australian seahorses remain together forever. So monogamy works here for different reasons. For the seabirds, having two parents to provide and protect their young was important. Whereas for the seahorse, they could produce more young or maybe it's because it's difficult for them to find a mate, so they appreciate the one they had. So is it love? Well, I'm not sure. But for these animals and the conditions they live in, successful monogamy means that they have more efficient breeding. More of their young survive and pass their parents' monogamous traits, their wish for a lifelong partner. <laughs>